Hello everybody, welcome back to being a professional netminder. I'm your professional netminder. Let's get right into it. I took one of those big breaks from recording this again, so I'm gonna go ahead and have a look at the lines because I don't even know what our team looks like, to be honest with you. Okay, we have Laugh, Borgo, and Marner. Didn't even remember that we had him. Kane with Holloway and Yams. That's a very solid second line. Third line, we have Nuge, who I feel like was either underperforming or overperforming. I feel like he wasn't doing well, though. And then 87 overall pool party on the third line. The poor guy. You hate to see it. Defensively, we got Nurse with Pesci. Timothy with Sanheim. Overall, our defense are just solid. In net, yours truly. Backed up by the 67 overall legend with Pretzel. And let's have a look at our scratched players. Why? What is he doing here? Oh, you're low elite, 83 overall with a bunch of X-Factors? Yeah, that's sick. Ride Pine, buddy. I feel like even Shaw could get in. Let's have a look at our lineup again. Uh, even Strength? Hi yeah, come on now. So it is do or die time, and I would kind of rather do. But if we die... Edmonton did once again hold us here against our will. I'm gonna continue to say that until we're gone. So I don't really care too much about the results. Would I rather move on? Yes, because that gets us one step closer to the Stanley Cup playoff. Or... <laughs> We're already in the playoffs, so we don't need to be one step closer to that, because we are in it. If anything, we'd be taking one step away. What I meant to say is we would be one step closer to the Stanley Cup. Minus the playoffs part. I can't recall how we were simming, but hopefully we sim well. Nice, we give them a power play to start the game. First period, 1-1. We take that. Second period, 3-3. It's all tied up. How dare you, TJ? I told you, you're not allowed to score on a fellow TJ. Guy's out here breaking rules like he owns the place. Who do you think you are? Easy save. Easy save. Get out of my face with that. Here come the Sharkies. Eklund is in. Has he been dummying me? Like, again, I don't remember anything. Honestly, I don't. Before editing the last one, I didn't even know that we were in a game seven. I, I had no idea where we left off, but here we are. Come on, ref, grow up. How are you gonna call that no goal? On what grounds is this not a goal? This is a sick joke. Tell me it's at least being reviewed and not just waved off. Oh, he's reviewing it. It's a good goal, baby! Woo! Obviously, it was a good goal. There was absolutely no party foul there. So, your Edmonton Oilers are up by one. Just like that. Great way to start the third. Hopefully, we keep this momentum going. I like it. Kane, let it rip. Wasn't really a rip. Uh, it wasn't, like, even a bad shot. It was somewhere below that, but you tried. Great back check by Holloway there. Make sure that Rantanen can't... Was I saying good things about you too soon? You know, was I... Too quick to jump on the hype up my teammate train because what was going on there? Hurdle, flying poke check! Get out of my face and Kane will be there to pick it up like a true teammate should. Oh my word. That is just bullying. What was I doing? Because moving over to make a save was not it. I can't lie, I think I got lost in the hit. You know, I was just so mesmerized by the power, the sheer connection on that body check that I just got lost and, you know, it was never found. Well, with that blunder, we are tied once more and I gotta be honest, I don't like our chances. Addison, what are you doing? Very clever plays, apparently. That's what he is doing. And are we taking a penalty? We sure are. Amazing. Oh no, they are! Timo! Perfect! Marnsey gets it to Kane, who tries to make a no-look pass across... What were you thinking, Patrick? Because obviously they're gonna have that clogged. The passing is magnificent. Too bad the shooting is not. Back to Kane it goes. And Ulevi gets in the way of that. I'll get some free team play, no big deal. And there you go. Over to you. What are you going to do with it now is a question. Put it right in the slot when your goalie's not there. <laughs> Optimal decision. That was a very interesting play. Almost scored on it, actually. Come on, where's his support? Get in there! Marnsey, battling with Borgo. It comes out to Kane. Yes? 
What a play and what a save. This guy's been a brick wall all series long. To be fair, I feel like both goalies have played substantial in this series. At least from what I'm remembering. One goal away from a hat trick, eh? Yeah, I doubt it. Although there's still four minutes left, I just have a overwhelming feeling it's not going to be solved after 60 and we're going to need extras, but stay tuned. I feel like I have to find a new setup. I actually ordered a new desk. A sit, stand desk, whatever you want to call them. The ones that go up and down because my back is tragic and I feel like I need to start doing something about that. So yeah, I, I want to get a new camera angle or just something because the glare on my glasses with the green screen is unacceptable. Pool party keeps it in. He's going to the net. Show us why you shouldn't be on the third line. Ratcliffe gets it to Pool Party who lets one go. And Capo reaches out to cover it. Buck 40 left in the third. And right now we have all of the pressure. I've seen some people comment that I should call an NHL game or some sort of... Just any hockey game, I guess, like a commentator. I appreciate that. Awful idea. I would not be good at it whatsoever. Guys, we got to do something here. Not a fan of anything that is occurring. He almost got the hat trick. Ah, uh, not really. I had him from the get-go. And they're taking another penalty, which is prime. Am I going to get there? Am I going to get there? No, I am not. Come on, boys. Let's close it out in the next 2-4 and move on to round number two. We didn't do very well on our first power play. But, you know, they gave us a second chance here. Let's not make a fool of ourselves twice. Let's go! Let's go! 6.1 seconds left. Yam stops up, feeds the boys, and Hatrick Kane is not going to miss from there. Well, he will, but not that time he didn't. Holy, what a shot. What a play by Yams. And here you go, the longest slow-mo of all time. Runs into the goalpost a little bit too, just to show it who's boss. Love that from you. Six seconds, don't blow this TJ, whatever you do, do not screw this up, it's over. Holloway has a B-way, lets it sing, and there we go. The Edmonton Oilers moving on to round number two. San Jose has been deleted from the playoffs. I wonder who our opponent's going to be. I remember I narrowed it down to two teams. Or actually, no, wasn't it only one team? Because we were the only series still going, I think. Both goalies did not play great in that one. But you know what? At least we won. So it wasn't double whammy. An L plus playing awful. That goal was awful, though. I should have had that all day long. Somehow I still accomplished the overall great. <laughs> I'll take it. Thank you, coach, for being nice for once. Who's it going to be? Playoff round complete. Stop the simulation and we get the Colorado Avalanche who beat their opponent in six games. Well then, let's take them down. So they have Gabriel Landeskog who had 61 points. Tara Vinen, Turbo, 58. Makar had 55. Newhook with 53. What's his overall? 85, so he's good. Ryan O'Reilly's also 85. Gerard, 89, wow. And then 88 overall cop. They have Hayes. Their team is very solid, I gotta say. Not that it matters who's back there, because I'm gonna be better, but... Oh, they got Stewie? 84 overall? Well, we found their weak spot. No offense, Stewie. They beat the Vancouver Canucks. Alright, so this is the way the conference semifinals are shaping up. Let's hop right into it here. First game against the Colorado Avalanche. We have home ice advantage, I believe, it looks like. If you're on the right side, pretty sure that means you're at home. First period. Not a good start. Second period. We take that. Pool party gets one. It's a 2-1 game. Here we go. Gabriel Landeskog. Oh, I thought he was going to get rocked, but he kind of shrugged that one off. Cop goes across to Walker. That's saved. And let's pass it out to Darnell Nurse. Risky pass in front of the net, but I cannot be upset with him for that. Because I literally gave him no other option. That was a golden scoring chance. And we blew it. Laffy. In the middle to Borg. What a save. Oh my word. Are we in one again? I shouldn't have said anything about Skinner because now he's going to play like a legitimate brick wall. It always works out like that. Holloway manages to grab it. 
Nice play from him. A couple dekes there that were borderline unnecessary, but he did end up getting the pass off, so won't be too hard on him. Battle behind the net. Giryanov going up against Kane and Borgo and somehow wins. Can I get an explanation, please? This Holloway guy seems to be a big fan of unnecessary dekes. But again, it hasn't not worked out for him yet, so... I can't really say anything. 10 minutes down, 10 to go. Pressure has been even on both sides, to be fair, but there hasn't really been a lot from either side. So, you know, saying that it's even isn't saying much at all. We did, however, just take a slashing penalty. And as a result, we'll have a man in the sin bin for the next two. Hopefully. Assuming they don't score. Send it down the ice. I forgot they just don't do that. Nice pass. This guy. I was about to celebrate already. I thought we had scored. Did not expect him to make the pass. Thought he was going to take a stupid shot. But then he actually did it. Alright, Stewie. What's going on? Okay, I know I said some things. But chill. Yeah, right. You're going to score that on me. Get out of here, Hayes. Another save. That one, easy peasy, was also going about eight miles wide of the net, I think. Nurse, another shot. I just, I don't know. We have to break the ice again. It's like Capo. He was unreal. And then I think we scored one goal or something or maybe got a couple in a row. And seemed to kind of fall apart after that. So maybe sort of the same situation going on here. If Colorado does end up winning this game, it's because of Skinner and no one else. Literally only him. Point shot won't make it through, but Turbo is there. Don't you dare. Don't you dare make it a three-goal lead. It's already bad enough. Your point has been made. All right? You know what I mean? So let's just lay back a little bit here. If we score one, I give you full permission to go hard in the yard again. Until that point. Just, you know, grab a lawn chair and sort of chill for a minute. One goal away from a hat trick again. These guys love getting two goals on me. All right, so he's going to the box, which guarantees he's not getting a hat trick. And we have 18 seconds to just get into Stewie's head here. So, although if we do score, it doesn't really mean much. It does. I'm going to go for it just for fun. What's the worst that could happen? Skate up. Oh, I don't have enough time. And he... Don't you dare! <laughs> there we go. He didn't score. It is a 1-0 series lead for the Colorado Avalanche. Boo! 869 save percentage. That simply will not do. I won't stand for this. Hopefully we can tie this series up, make it a best of five. But simulation hasn't really been doing us any favors recently. We've either been tied or losing. So, first period... All right, not bad. Second, we're winning. How about that? Can't lie, Colorado coming out flying here in this period so far. Someone fight, all right? You know, we need a momentum shift and we need it now. Let's go. <laughs> he didn't even get the shot off, but a goal is a goal, mate. They don't ask how, they ask how many. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a replay here. I want to see how this actually did end up going in because it kind of looked like he just jammed it right into the left mini wheat there. And I think... Oh no, he did get the shot off. I think. I maybe stand corrected? Not behind the net. Don't you dare go behind the net. One timer. Not even sure if the goalie reacted to that or not. Might have just genuinely hit TJ and went off to the side. But again, the statement remains. They don't ask how, they ask how many. Gerard's back again. Guy's been all over us so far in this third period. Battle in the corner. Turbo comes out with it. And that will be passed in front of our net. Ballsy play. Ballsy play, I gotta say. That's a rhyme. I'm a poet. Didn't know it. Oh no. Oh no. I got a piece of that for sure. Because the controller went bzzz. So, definitely had an influence on that puck not going in the net. That's all I'm gonna say. Hey, what happened, Stewie? Thought you were sick. You know what, though? I might just have to beat the crap out of him. I think I have to do that. All right, Stewie, let's go. Me and you, mono y mono. What piece of equipment's going flying? I really hope it's my bucket, because it is the best helmet the game has to offer. Oh, no. 
I'm actually going to lose. There's no way I'm going to lose this. Get out of here. Okay, so he goes in for the bear hug. He was sick and tired of getting rinsed by my knuckles. Oh, yeah? Easy dodge. Easy dodge. Come on. Give me a challenge here. Stop being so predictable. Why are you hitting yourself? Oh, no, he's not. He's not going to... Yeah, there we go. That's got to be it. Boom. I was close, though. Good Tilly. All I can say is that hopefully Stewie and his amazing mustache are knocked off their game a little bit. Wouldn't it be weird if we actually pronounced words like we're supposed to? Like, does anyone actually say little? It's little. L-I-D-D-L-E or, yeah, something like that. Little. Big save. Oh, my word. He was just one second too late. If he could have gripped it and ripped it. That would have been a goal. Cut the lead down to one, but no. Turbo sucks. Just like Stewie. Oh, what happened? What was going on that first game there, huh? You were so good. And now you're not. Now you're bad. Yeah. Yes. Although it is a video game, I like to imagine... That Stuart Skinner is over there just giving it to me from across the ice, you know? So, we're going to have a bit of a chirping battle in this series. Except it's going to be a one-way street because he is a computer goalie. Hate to break it to you. Well, although I let in another goal that should not have gone in. Could have po-checked. So many things could have been done there, but they weren't. Luckily, we've scored 8 million. On their netminder, so... Should be good. I wouldn't even be surprised if we got another one. In fact, I'm gonna go out and say it. We are gonna get another one. I think coming into this, I had maybe a 930 save percentage or something really good. So, I wonder how much of a beating that took. Also, Borgo just turned Byram inside out. Darnell Nurse, two minutes for slashing. That's not good. We gotta kill this thing off. Oh, there's already... Only two and a half minutes. For some reason, I thought there was a lot more. So we're still sitting pretty. Saved on the mini wheat of the right variety. That was a risky play by me. Not the pass, even. Just how far out I was challenging the shot. Because I had to get over far. In fact, you know what? I think that's the same thing that happened with the Samwise Bennett goal. That's one of the issues of me taking long breaks of recording this because I forget everything that I tried to learn. Because every video, I feel like I've been kind of learning something new. Get out of my lip. Get out of my literal face. Also, why did I poke check and slide about 32 miles that way? It's such a good save. Landiscog thought he had one. Oh boy, was he wrong. Oh yeah. That's thumbnail material if I've ever seen it. 12 seconds to go. And it looks like we are going to make this into a best of five. There you go. Come on, get the goal so that I'm right. When I said we were going to score another one. Mitchell! I know you like to pass the puck. Not the time, nor the place. They had 31 shots. So our save percentage was at least a 900 in that one. Look at all that green. And while you're at it, look at all those chickens. Tis a 1-1 series, best of five. And we are headed on the road now. Let's have a look at the stats. See how we're doing. Player stats in the playoffs. We have eight points in nine games from Hatrick Kane on the second line. Our first line, not getting it done. Marner has seven, which is all right, but I expect better. Yams with six, same with Laugh. Darnell's doing pretty good. We're only down to a 9-14, so that's not great. But it's not bad. And we are the only series tied. Once again, we're a singled out series here. All the others have a 2-0 lead. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that video. I'll see you soon.